Okay, so I've had a few people ask me about phone farming and uh, distributed computing on mobile devices. And one of the biggest problems you run into is battery bloat. This is a good example of what happens to a phone when it gets battery bloat. Sometimes it just pops the battery out, sometimes it just pops the back open a bunch, sometimes the phone just shuts down, but there are times that the entire device starts coming apart on you. As you can see, I have a whole box full of mobile devices that have died over the years. Uh, this is an example of one that I was able to take the battery out of and I could solder a USB cable directly to the right connectors for the positive and negative. I recommend doing that on devices that you can. As you can see, this one has had that done to it and it's running Boink right now, which is distributed computing projects. Uh, that is running the CPUs pretty well. It's currently suspended, but now it's resumed. Um, I also do sometimes run money earning apps on these. Not very often uh, because a lot of the profits have gone away over the years. But for example, I could start up one of the Swagbucks apps. That one's charging. That one hasn't been logged into that app yet. I know this one has. So here, it's loading up the Sportly mobile app for Swagbucks. As it customizes things, it'll go through it. There's been times that I've had all these devices running different beer money apps. Some of them, the screens are cracked, as you can see there, but they still work. Some of them I've had to add some passive cooling to, just to make sure that it doesn't overheat the device. But, pretty straightforward and simple but you can do it if your device allows you to pull the battery out some of these phones none of mine currently do it but I've had some in the past I think the ZTE World 2 was a phone that you could pull the entire battery out of and just plug it into USB and it would still run um, most phones won't run if you have the battery pulled out so you may have to try the soldering trick um, there's even some devices that won't run if you solder them so just give an example of, of what you can do um, I don't recommend going out and buy mobile phones for any of the beer money apps anymore they uh, they really aren't that profitable uh, to justify the the headache of having you know 30 or so or even 60 phones going um, but if you're doing like one or two apps it might be worth it. Uh, Swagbucks is one of them that I still earn pretty decent. I average probably about $3 a day. Sometimes it's $2 a day on Swagbucks. And that's even running the Encrave app on one phone. Um, it can it can generate by itself probably between a dollar and a dollar fifty a day, if not two on a good day. So um, that's that setup. As you can see here, I'm running uh, some videos on Fruit Lab on the TV in my office. And I've got a Swagbucks TV web browser going on that laptop. My office is a mess because I've got a ton of junk in here. I downgraded from two garages and three bedrooms down to one office for computer supplies. So as you can see, I'm also uh, running some errorrewards.com. And then I've got a little bit of mining going, but tons of hardware and not a lot of profit to go with them. So just figured I'd give everybody a little, little view of uh, some of the things you can do with uh, discard devices.